Hey everyone, Donnie here, and thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to do the first initial flight. Uh, this is a Holy Stone. This is a HS720E. This one's been upgraded. It's got the, the new uh, system in there to where it stabilized the film. So it's going to kind of work like a gimbal. So I can't wait to test that out. Let me get this fired up. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to fire this thing up. I'm going to turn the controller on. Going to turn the drone on. All right, so the controller and drone just bound. So I'm going to wait for the Wi-Fi to kick on on here so we can connect to it. Holy Stone, there we go. That's the one I want. It's connecting. It's done. So let me go ahead and go to... Uh, their app here which is going to be ophelia go 4k app so let's get in on that next there we go all right we have connection guys uh the wheel right here will tilt the camera up and down so there we go camera is working i put a class 10 sd card uh this one's actually uh, uh a u3 and it's uh 64 gigabytes i put in this one so should be able to record the film just fine so what we're going to need to do is do a compass calibration so to do that you're going to want to hold these down to the bottom right hand corner now that sign comes on right here Tell me to go ahead and calibrate the drone. I apologize for the noise, but they're doing a lot of yard work today. So let's, uh, it's counterclockwise on this drone. So let's go counterclockwise. Now should be able to go down and counterclockwise. Just don't hit your camera right there. Okay. The little sign went away on here. Let me make sure I didn't leave no yuckies on the camera there. Okay, so now the little sign's gone here, guys. So it is calibrated. You can go in the gear setting. Should be able to go uh, in here and set all your settings, but I did that uh, on the unboxing. And I'll leave a link up here. You can see what came in the box. So um, I set all my parameters. I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate the gyros. So let's go ahead and hit that. And also, if this thing gets a little crazy, which it shouldn't, you can land it back down. Instead of using the sticks to calibrate the GPS, you can actually do it from the app as well. So let me go ahead and get out of there. we got 17 satellites already, guys. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and start the film. So let's get that started. Looks to be recording. There it goes. So let's bring this thing up and see how well it, it runs. So press the lock button once. Then I'm going to lift up. So you just press that uh, lock button one time and then lift up. In case of some emergency, for some reason, it, it's doing something crazy and you have to automatically stop it, then you just hold down this lock. It'll cut the motors and it's just going to drop down. Okay, guys? So I'm just letting you know. So let me bring this out. I'm going to go ahead and turn this towards me. I want to see that stabilization. The wind's picking up. Wind's blowing this way, so let me get this guy back over here. All right, big gust of wind just came in, so let me take a look at this guy. Man, this thing is nice. Pretty stable. Really neat looking drone. Right now, I have the video quality. I can, I could stop the video real quick. Go in the video quality, it's on 4K. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for 1080p, 60 frames per second, just because I, that's, I'm using my phone to edit this video. So I can't really do too much high quality 4K, in, but I, I'll try. Let me go ahead and get back out of there. Let's go ahead and start the film. There we go. Let's see how stable this thing is. Uh, I'm gonna do some movements here and I wanna see how stabilized this is. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back and forth here. Okay. That's actually pretty good. 
So that Sony sensor in there is awesome. Definitely a big difference uh, from, I, I never had the original HS720P, I mean 720, but um, it didn't have the stabilization. And this one does, and it's, it's definitely acting like a gimbal, which is awesome. So let me go ahead and take this thing up, take it out and tell me what you guys think. Give me a comment down below. Man, this is nice. I'm gonna go up a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and stop because there's tennis playing there. I don't wanna go over the courts. I'm gonna tilt the camera down. I'm getting nice feed. I'm 120 uh, or 318 feet away. I'm up 120 feet. So I can still see the drone fine. And man, that's really nice footage. Let's do a little pan around, see if I can go and pan around a little bit. My hands are a little shaky, so not too good on the sticks right this minute still smoky here so i'm not going to do a full uh review it's pretty windy up there that's why you've seen that movement but uh i'm not going to do a full uh time on this it's just initial flight i want to test the return to home on this as well so let's go ahead and try that it says it's returning to home <coughs> excuse me that smoke it's still pretty bad in the air Coming back hot, <laughs> pretty fast. It didn't turn around, it's just coming back backwards. So it doesn't turn around and face you and come back. But you should be able to tilt the camera up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it down while it's coming down. Let you guys have a look. Here it comes. Looking good. Getting a nice breeze coming right now and it's holding its ground. What a nice drone. They definitely uh, definitely did a good job by putting that, uh, that uh, sensoring in there. Uh, so that way the stabilizer uh, in there, that's, it's really nice. The image stabilizing system is awesome. Definitely definitely a good upgrade for this so we're pretty darn close you guys i'm going to cancel that out i'm going to press it once it just stops right away man this thing is solid wow that is nice okay so i'm going to go back up i'm going to go take some pictures let me stop the recording here so uh, i'm going to try it on the controller here so holding the camera button for a few seconds it stopped that i'm going to go and switch to uh I just took a photo, but you could just press it on here and it'll take a photo. Let me go up, go out a little way so I'm not hurting my neck trying to look up here. Go up some, bring the camera back up. I'm gonna stop at 100 feet. Let's go ahead and snap off a shot here. Okay, successful. Let's turn towards Sacramento. What a, what a nice image. It freezes up here and there, but it's not bad at all. There's Sacramento out there. You can barely see it because of the, there's a snapshot because of the smoke. We'll take one out here, out towards the fields here. Snapshot, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little fly around as I'm coming down. Let you guys see as I'm churning. Right now I'm taking fast churns. Okay, fast churns as I'm coming down. Just want you to see how that goes. It don't come down very fast, so, but I am churning as I'm coming down. I just want to, I just want you guys to be able to see that there. All right, I'm gonna bring it back towards me here. I'm just trying to do a lot of movements just to test out the sensor, that's all. I just want to see how well that sensor uh, picks up. You know, it could always do some kind of cin cinematic uh, footage sometime, but that sensor's working really well. I'm gonna go out here and see if I could try out that, uh, that follow me mode here. So let's see how well that works. Bring it back, gosh, this thing's smooth and quiet. Very quiet drone. Let me bring this guy back over here. All right, let's check out these options. I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm gonna go into, uh, oh, 
wrong se section here. Let me go into the follow me mode. Okay. Enter camera lens. Okay. Let me go ahead and tilt the camera towards me. Do I have to draw a box? I don't think I have to draw a box. Let's just see what happens. Just curious if uh, I didn't see it trying to draw a box. Let me go back in there again. All right, let me go back in here. Okay, swipe right. There we go. It's looking at me. Are you gonna follow me now? There we go. There we go, guys. I'm not even looking. I'm hoping it's following me. I see it on the screen. It looks like it's following me. It's trying to. Let's see if I'll go back this way. It's still looking for me. Yep, it is coming. Okay. Cool. Not very fast, which is fine. You don't want big movements, so. All right, so the fall me is working. Let me come towards it. It's backing up. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that mode. Wow, pretty nice. I'm really liking this drone. Come a long ways, I tell you. I still remember flying a little X5C. Thought that was the greatest thing in the world and I still fly it. Excuse me, sorry, the smoke's getting to me a bit. So I'm gonna have to cut this short here soon. Um, I'm gonna try to follow me, um, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna start up the video and I'm gonna do the orbit. So I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna go back a ways here. Bring it up a little bit, okay. Go ahead and swipe. Let's check that out. See if I could tilt the camera up or down. I could tilt the camera up and I could tilt the camera down as it's going. Let's see if I can adjust it. Okay, you can adjust it at all. Can you adjust the height? Yep. You can adjust the height. You can bring it down lower. So if you want to pan around, come down low as it's panning, but you cannot adjust the distance. You have to do that in the app, okay? So let me go ahead and cancel that. Yeah, that works great. Not bad at all. All right, let's see what else. See what other goodies we got on here. Super nice drone, you guys. I'm really happy with this. Uh, it's just headless mode. And you know what? I would stay away from headless mode. Usually that's for people that's never flown. They'll get disoriented and uh, they'll go so far back that they don't know which way is forward, back. Then you would press headless mode as long as you could see the drone, you could just press back and it would come back to you no matter what, which way you're facing. So I can actually show you that, but I don't recommend having that. Let me turn it this way and I could go forward, see? Still sideways, so you can kind of film like that. I guess that would help when you're filming. See, and back, see? So I can, I can actually have it completely sideways, you know, so you could kind of use that for filming if you like. So, you know, that would be a good thing if you want to do a little cinematic, little cinematic uh, sideways shot there. You can use headless mode, but just don't forget that you're in it, okay? Because it could get you in trouble and it gets people lazy when they're using it too. So let me go ahead and get out of that. Let me get some more film here. I'll see if, uh, let me try to get in the shade here because I got a lot of sun finally breaking through that I haven't seen. For a long time it just usually looks like a fog so i'm gonna go ahead and bring this up and i'm gonna do a little film here there we go clear the tree nice go over towards the school go over here these guys are doing construction over here so you can actually tilt the camera down. Yeah, there you go. You can see them doing a little bit of construction there. So I don't want to get too close. I don't want to disturb them, but you can see they're working on the fields over there, pouring concrete. So let me go ahead and bring this guy back over here. Super smooth, guys. 
Definitely gonna be one of my favorites now, I tell you. It's it's really nice drone. Here it comes, right above the tree. That sensor works really nice. I can't wait to see the SD card footage. So there you go, guys. HS720E, definitely a great upgrade they did. Sony sensor, they put that stabilization in there and it works really well. So that's probably gonna be the end of this uh, review for now, guys. I'll do some more flights, but right now, I just wanna get out of this uh, smoky air. I don't wanna breathe it too long, but uh, supposed to have a flight time of 20 minutes and uh, definitely is a super smooth drone, you guys. I think it's gonna be worth the money. I'll put some coupon codes down in the link below. So go ahead and click on that. It's Holystone, uh, the HS720E, and it's on Amazon. So click on the link down below, guys. And if you're new to the channel, definitely, hey, consider subscribing and hitting the notifications. That way you can always see what's coming up new because I get a lot of Holy Stone products. I got a few more to go and review. So you guys could check out a lot of these really cool drones that they make. They really come a long ways, guys. So um, another thing I wanted to show you, if I can kind of get where I could be in the shade here, I wanted to show you the, the lights here. It's got these little floodlights at the bottom. There they are. How cool is that? So if it's getting evening time, you can turn on and off the lights. It's just right here. On and off. That is awesome. You can put it in a faster rate of, uh, rate of speed. So let's try out a little faster here. Okay. Seems like it didn't change, but it does have two speed rates. So. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back, land it. I'm pretty comfortable with this, so I'll probably just land this in my hand. Save my back from having to bend over over there. <laughs> so, you bring this guy back. What a cool drone. And just keep holding the button down or you can hit the lock. There you go. Make sure you go and shut off the film. This thing has a lot of power, so be careful if you're not experienced landing in your hand. I don't suggest it uh, unless you've been doing this for quite a few years like I have. But anyways, guys, make sure you shut your film off so that way you don't corrupt the video. And uh, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Holy Stone, I really appreciate you guys sending this out for a review. Awesome drone, guys. Check it out in the link below. Like always, God bless, cheers, and happy flying. Oh, yeah.